I love that we started this with Nightingale College. We're just trying to help you uh, be a better you. Have you guys heard of the 30-day pause? Do you know what that is? No. no. It's where you like disappear from life for 30 days awesome. to create a better you. Just you just did that. Yeah, but, we just did that for like two months. But you come out with like better finances and better health, not the same person you were before the pause. Like you try to actually make lifestyle or changes. Or perhaps, you know, put on the quarantine 15. Amen to that. And okay. in fact, we're going to help with the quarantine 15 <laughs> today. We have our friend Nicole Lamb from Nightingale College. Hey, Nicole. Hi, how are you guys? We're doing excellent. We're trying to get through. All right, Nicole. Uh, I was telling Monroe just now about the quarantine 15. Yes, sometimes that happens, but there is a way we can fight that and even fight depression that might be happening through exercise, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I mean, really all movement is better than no movement. I think a lot of disease in our country is is based on disease as being sedentary mm-hmm. and I'm going to I'm going to even say stagnation right stagnation of all of Does it. that mean me sitting on the couch and watching Netflix is that what you're trying to say <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I respect that. It means quit making fun of people for buying a trike, John. <laughs> Monroe bought a trike, Nicole. So that's what yeah. she, and she's very, very proud of for it. Her adult tricycle. But it has like a backrest on it. Like she's barely, oh, yeah. Have, yeah she, hey, but guess who's moving and guess who's not? You. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're moving. Uh, <laughs> Nicole Lamb from Nightingale College. All right. So if we're talking about movement, what kind of movement do we want to do? said everything is good but there's some particular interest in it's called hit training yes. so it's high high interval training and you could even do it on your trike um, <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> i will oh my god you should do workout videos hit oh training gosh. on your trike <gasps> hit trike training h-i-t-t oh my god ah dang it yeah i'm sorry nicole continue no you're good so right hit exercises, unlike the others, really um, increases your insulin receptor sensitivity. It helps with growth growth hormone um, and uh, brain-derived neurotrophic hormones um, and boosts your immune system a lot, which would be great during this time. And all time. You know, I do think that a lot right now when I'm when I am trying to work out. I'm like, you know, as much as you hate this, at least it's building your immune system, or it's mm-hmm. and that is something I think we all want to be a, a little extra healthy right mm-hmm. now. Correct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, and it increases serotonin and dopamine, so right, yeah, brings your mood up. Helps for motivation and focus. Yeah. I, you know, I, I hit the Bowflex once a week, and I feel like I'm overtraining. Uh, is there overtraining? <laughs> is there a way for me to be certain about this? So, with hit exercises, you you're probably you can more overtrain, but it's really trying to get ten minutes, ten times or six times a weekend. So six times, um, not ten That's minutes. An hour. It's one hour. An hour and one hour. One hour. And you're alternating your heart rate. So you're going all out for a minute, right? So you're breathless. Um, speech is is not in complete sentences. Um, and then you're bringing it down for two minutes. And then you're going all out again. Gotcha. Um, and that's what releases those hormones. What about the fact that like uh, there's so many different types of training out there? You know, there is the strength training. There's the cardio, like riding your trike. Uh, Monroe does do yoga <laughs> as well. Like, is there one that's better for certain people than others? I think you probably need them all as far as balance, right? If you just get too bulky, muscly, then you don't have flexibility, right? If you don't have, work your heart, then you don't have the cardiac flexibility, Um so it takes all of them. It's my problem, guys. There's so much muscle that it's hard for me to <laughs> oh, move around. Like, oh, no. like when I have to turn around, I have to turn my whole body around. Oh, I can't. Uh-huh. Ju- you know Here how it is. It's not the ravaging of age <laughs> that is tearing up your joints that makes you do that. Now, my wife is saying I need to stretch more also, Nicole. Do you feel like that might be important for some people if they're working out? you got to stretch at the end, right? Stretch at the end and really end of your day is a great time to mm. stretch. You just before getting into bed to help you relax a little bit more, right? Increases flexibility. I love that. All right. Uh, again, right now, there's so many ways that uh, you can end up uh, not being healthy and also ending up in an emotional funk. And exercising is a way to get you out of all of that. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you need any wellness tips, our friends over at Nightingale College, they have ideas for you up on their website, nightingale.edu. Nicole Lamb of Nightingale College and our wellness coach. Hey, we appreciate it. Have a great day, guys.